Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an app icon in Android Studio. Typically on an Android device when you launch an app you will click an icon and it may look something like this on your Android device. So I'm going to show you how to change it or create one of your own because this one that comes uh, with Android Studio by default is just kind of ugly and doesn't really have anything to do with your app usually. So what you want to do is go to Res or Resources right click on that and click on new I'm going to continue over with the arrow and go all the way down here to image asset and click on that you have three options for icon types you can do action bar and tab icons that's the top bar on your app you can also do notifications that is for notifications obviously but we're going to do launcher icons launcher icons are the things that you will see on a home screen or in a drawer of an android device so you have a few configuration options. First of all, you have the name. Uh, I see launcher uh, is okay, but I just prefer app icon, so we're gonna change it just like that. Next, you can choose what kind of asset you're gonna use to create your image. So basically, you can select an image from like your desktop or whatever, or your photos, and then you can adjust it accordingly. Or you can use text, which is just basic text like hello and you can make that your app icon or you can use clip art clip art is just images that android studio already has that could be relevant to your app however typically they are black and white but you can change that i believe so i'm going to do clip art right now because i don't have any images to add so i'm just going to change to something i wonder if they have any programming type icons there that's good enough so I've selected the image I'd like to use and then we have more options first option is trim well do we want to trim typically no but trim will just get rid of the extra space around the icon uh, I will not trim this one padding is necessary because it can help create a better look for your icon if your padding is like this you kinda can't see the edges of your icon but if it's like this, then your app icon is a little small. So I just don't really touch that much unless I'm using a image I imported myself. The foreground, that's the color that is most closest to you. So like for instance, this icon is black, but if we wanted to, we could change it to something like red, just like that. The background, and we can change it to something else also. So let's just do yellow. I know this looks hideous, but we're going to keep it like that. We have a few more options to go through. We have shrink to fit and crop. Basically, this is more useful on an image, but it'll shrink your icon down if it's like a higher resolution, so that it'll fit in your app icon, which should be about 50 pixels by 50 pixels, I believe, depending on the screen size. Or you can crop it down, which means it won't take pixels out, it'll just crop it down into a really small square and you, you might not get the whole picture you had before. So I prefer the shrink to fit. The shape, very interesting because on Apple devices you can only have a square with rounded edges as far as I know, but on Android you can have a lot of different types of shapes. Uh, for instance, if you have a image like this or something that is just not a defined shape in here, you can do that. So if you have a dog a dog picture that's cut out in Photoshop, you can usually you have a you can have a dog as your icon. Pretty neat. Or you can do a circle, so just add a little circle border on there. Um, or a square or vertical or horizontal. Whatever you want to do there. Lastly we have any effect. We have two effects. We have done. I'm sorry, we have none, and we have dog ear. Dog ear just kind of adds a little dog ear, I guess, over the side. Kind of cool. So then we can click Next, and we have this Output Directories window with Source Directory. Basically, it's just going to tell us where it's saving our images. You'll notice we have many different sizes. That's because there are different screen densities, or pixel densities of screens on Android. So if you have a really small phone, you might have a lower pixel density than one on a really large tablet. So you don't need to have such a high resolution icon on a small device, so you just do like a normal pixel density. 
but if you use a normal pixel density image on a really high density display, it's gonna look funny. So that's why they create different sizes. And then they also have one for web, which could be any size. So they make it really large. Finally, we click finish. And there we go. If we go to MIP map, we'll see our app icon right up in there. And bam, all to the different sizes we need. So hopefully this will help you with your app. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.